simplifying fractions. All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to simplify a fraction and what exactly that means. So what does simplifying fractions actually mean? Well, the word simplifying has the word simple written inside it. And that basically means we're taking a huge fraction, such as, uh, well, I say a huge fraction. I mean a fraction that has a large numerator and a large denominator. Something like, I don't know, 15 twentieths. And we're trying to make that fraction, we're going to try to take that fraction and to make it as simple as possible. So what I mean by that is, for instance, 15 twentieths, if we were to simplify it, actually becomes 3 quarters. <clears throat> and that is the simple version of 15 twentieths, is 3 quarters. But, how the world do you explain that? How do you work that out? Well, that's what we're going to show you how to do. So let's start with a very simple bar model of a fraction here. So counting the number of pieces we've got, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equal groups. So that's going to be our denominator. So we've got 6 equal groups. And we've shaded in 1, 2, 3, 4 equal groups. Okay, so that's our numerator. So we've got 4 sixths. So what we need to do here is we need to break down 4 sixths. We need to simplify this fraction, okay, into its simplest form. Well, how can we do that? Well, there are different ways to do it. And using some pictures and using the bar model, what, we, what I would do would be, I would draw a similar size bar to the one on top. So I've done that, exactly the same down here. And I need to see whether or not I can make a fraction that is the same size as 4 sixths. So, what kind of fraction can I make? Well, I'll tell you what we could do. So, I've drawn my bar, and I'm going to start erasing some of these lines, okay? So I'm going to make my denominator, I'm going to make my equal groups slightly larger. So, let's see, maybe I could rub out this line, and this line, and this line, and I might have a different fraction, so hold on, let's try that. Okay, so I've rubbed out the middle lines, as you can see. So, now the fraction I've got here is I've got a third. Now that we've got three equal groups, let's just move this shape up here. And what we want to do is we want to shade in the exact same amount that we've done before. So that would include this whole group here. And if we're making sure this is exactly the same, we'll shade in this whole shape here. And what you should be able to see is that we've shaded in two groups out of those three. So we've shaded in two thirds of that bar. But what you should also be able to see now is now that we've lined up the two bars side by side, you should be able to see that two thirds is equivalent to four sixths. But what we've actually done is we've taken four sixths and we have simplified it. We have made fewer groups from the bar, we've simplified the fraction into two thirds. And you can, we've proven that using these pictures here. 